Hey YouTube, Jesus Freak with you once again. If you're watching this and you're probably aware that my account has been suspended, I wanted to first invite you all to mirror this, upload this on your channel, spread the word, because I want all my subscribers to know what's happened. They can hear it from my mouth. And if you've already done so, I want to say thank you. If you're going to, thank you. I can't thank all of you enough for your support. It doesn't matter whether you're Christian, atheist, Muslim, whatever. If you're uploading this in support of fighting off false DMCA's, thank you very much. I truly, truly extend my gratitude to you. That's exactly what's happened. I received messages from YouTube that I had DMCA's filed against me. They were false DMCA's because those videos were much like this. I was just talking to the camera about different topics. There was zero copyright infringement material at all within those videos, so I was forced to go one of two ways, either lie down and play dead and accept the fact that my YouTube account was terminated, suspended, or I could um, give up my anonymity and file a counterclaim. I put it before the Lord. I believe the Lord wants me to preserve what he is building through the Jesus Freak 7-7 channel, and that is the primary focus of that channel. God is the reason for it. So I went ahead and I filed the counterclaims, and I have to wait 10, 15 days, whatever it is, uh, 10 business days, so probably be two weeks, for um, YouTube to decide what they're going to do. I'm anticipating that they will repeal those um, copyright claims, but I'm sure it's just a matter of time until I continue getting more and more and more until people drive me off of YouTube. So this might very well, in fact, be my final video ever. If that is the case, I want to make it clear that this channel has always been dedicated to serving God. This was my first foray on in internet ministry. I used to go into Yahoo Chat, MSN Chat. I really liked Yahoo Chat because they had a voice system. Kind of like stick ham, you push to talk and you could communicate. And I spent about a year or so there developing some skill and witnessing and learning the arguments and objections that non-believers had and basically it was a lot of atheists and I was one of the few Christians that was kind of really welcome in the room that people would tolerate because I tried to be a nice guy and I kind of honed my chops there and then I found YouTube and I was like wow what a, a better forum you see I like the internet because it provides us a, a forum to be able to speak and in the mortal world you know when you're with friends and family, if you start talking about religion or politics, people go, oh, and they groan and say, no, religion and politics. So it's kind of hard to find people that really want to have those discussions. On the internet, with a few fill keystrokes, boom, right there, you can talk to people that actually want to engage in those discussions. That's why I don't understand the DMCAing of uh, uh, falsely DMCAing people. If you don't want to listen to that discussion, you don't have to. Go watch your Justin Bieber videos or whatever you watch, you know, whatever. You know, go entertain yourselves and just go away and let us that want to have these discussions have the discussions. Obviously, it's trolling and no amount of sensible talk will get through to them. But YouTube provides a wonderful forum and, you know, for sharing ideas. And I've Try to take advantage of that. Focusing on God has been the primary concern with this channel. That's why I created the channel. That's what we've tried to do. By no means am I a great, great example of what a Christian is. I struggle daily with my walk. I, I make mistakes. I sin. I repent. I yield to God, respect. I, I do everything I can. And yet I still fell. I'm not anything more than what I try to say that I am. I'm just a man that serves God. I'm by no means an authority. I'm just a guy that wants to lead people to Christ as the Bible commands us. One day I believe every knee will bend and every tongue will confess that Christ is Lord. And if you only take one message that I've ever said, that would be that message. We are saved by God's grace and God's grace alone. He provides us mercy that we do not deserve. Yet, because of His grace, His love for us, He offers us redemption through Jesus Christ. And without Christ, we are condemned by our own.
own sin. So I encourage each and every one of you to repent, to draw close to God, to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, and walk that walk. Walk the narrow path. Listen to God. Heed His teaching and calling in your life. As I said, this may be one of my last videos, my last video ever. I don't plan on having video after video or account after account taken down and be suspended and suspended. I'm not going to go through that like other YouTube users have had to go through. I will sorely miss the YouTube community. It's been a huge part of my life for three years and you can't invest that amount of time and not have it affect you, you know, you know in a lot of ways. I've met some great people in the YouTube community and those memories and those peoples, those friendships, I will cherish. To those of you that took the time to, sub to subscribe, to comment, to favorite videos, to support what I was doing, I truly can't thank you enough. I think you all know that the mission here was to glorify God and to give Him all praise and all glory. Did we do it perfectly here on this channel? No. But man, I love God, and I pray that you love God also. So thank you so much for your kindness. Some of you during my darkest times in the past year or two have sent me messages when I've needed it the most. You sent me messages that have meant the world to me, to, that have cur encouraged me to grow in my faith, encouraged me not to be frustrated, encouraged me not to lose faith, encouraged me that life was going to be better, that life would be okay. I mean, I, I can't begin to tell you how much your messages have meant to me through the, the past couple years especially. And those of you that have fought for Christ in the comment sections, thank you so much. When I didn't have the time to present arguments or to continue a discussion, you guys were there praising God trying to talk sense to people and try to break the uh, argument down and into simpler terms and trying to clarify. Thank you very much. Those of you that were non-believers but were, were respectable and respectful and actually cared about articulating your point in a, a fair manner, thank you because you helped improve the conversation. So to all of you that were part of this ministry, whether you're believers or not, Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I'm very dismayed right now. I don't know what to do. I mean, YouTube has been one of the big sources of entertainment for me. And not just entertainment in a, hey, you know, it's like TV for me, but something that was actually worthwhile. It was an endeavor worth taking part in because there was a greater good of serving God that was involved. So I'm going to have to find something, obviously. So. Thank you for encouraging me, helping me, and for supporting me, and glorifying God in that process, because that's what this is really about. Those of you that got me suspended, well, I'm not going to harbor any hate towards you. I just pray that God will watch out and encourage you in your life and bless you also. God bless each and every one of you. I hope to see you again on YouTube. I hope my channel will be restored. I trust in God's power, and I trust that God will make things right. But just in case it doesn't work out, maybe it's God's will, and I'll just say so be it. God bless you all.